Now, we have studied, we have looked at some of the Ambazonian groups and some of the people who support Ambazonia in Northwest and Southwest. Some of them are praying that Professor Kamto should win the election. They are hoping that he will win the election. But this is ridiculous because these very people have prevented many, many people in Northwest and Southwest from voting in this election. If Professor Kamto loses the election, it will be because of Ambazonia. They prevented people from voting in Northwest and Southwest where Mr. Pobia is unpopular. For whatever good reasons you think that Professor Kamto should win the election and change the lives of Cameroonian, you're seeing that Ambazonia has been a collaborator of the system in power. So the question is, what has Ambazonia brought to us? What has Ambazonia brought after two years of declaring independence and now we are suffering at this level? What has Ambazonia brought to us? Suffering, deaths, our, our debts are just going up. Our businesses have fallen. People are suffering. People are dying everywhere. People don't have food to eat. The prices of food are going up. People don't have water. People have a lot of insecurity. This is what Ambazonian project has brought to us. Now, for some of you who are surprised or who are looking at the, the, the elections and waiting possibly for Professor Kamto's victory, you have to learn something. He was able to challenge the system by organizing. And he was able to challenge the system by staying within the law. All his declaration, now even the government is beginning to be careful about what they say. Because he has studied the law and he's applying the law. You're trying to bring about independence using arms. Nobody in the international community can step up and support you without facing serious criticism. So if you organize and you use the rule of law, that is going to help you. That's what we intend to do by supporting the All Anglophone Conference uh, that is organized by Cardinal Tumi and Dr. Monzo. We are providing, we are helping to make sure that we've come up with concrete problems and concrete solutions, as for concrete solutions that will improve the lives of the people in Northwest and Southwest. And Bazoni has not brought anything that is helpful to the people of Northwest and Southwest. They have taken us prisoners. They have taken us prisoners. We're in chain. We need to free ourselves because these people do not care about us. They are writing books. They are making money. They are living uh, abroad happily with their families. They are not suffering as we, are, as, uh, as we are suffering right here. So that's the situation we are. You need to organize. You need to follow the law if that's what you really want to, if that's what you want to, to get. We need to be brave. If you come up as a group, that's why the government is afraid now, because many people support Kamto. Uh, they have to be careful to do the right thing. When you organize very well, everybody's with you. If we organize, if we say, no, our children cannot lose another school year, then we can come up against Ambazonia. We can come up against the government to ask at least for safety and for freedom for our children. Note that any place where there is fighting right now, there is fighting because Ambazonia started that fight. So don't tell me about self-defense. It's not self-defense. Ambazonia starts the fight and security forces come there and life is destroyed for the people in this area. Any area in Rum, in Kumbo, in Dok, in, in Belo, all of these places, Ekona, uh, my, my 16, my, and all of these places in the southwest, wherever Ambazonians have started fighting, the security forces come. It is not self-defense. It is offensive attacks that uh, these people have brought upon us. We must fight back. We must tell them that we need to create a space of peace. All communities where you don't have Ambazonia, make sure Ambazonia does not enter that community. If they enter, security forces will follow. If you can keep Ambazonia out, you will keep security forces out. And we are criticizing, calling on the governors to be more active in finding ways to restrain the security forces from a collective punishment and collective arrest. This crisis is going to be resolved. Separation is not possible. Separation is not desirable. And therefore, if you're holding a gun, there, there's going to be some consequences for you. We say there will be no amnesty. This 
message applies to whether the president is going to be Professor Kamto or whether the president is still going to be Pobia or is going to be a transition president if we ask for the reason, a resignation. This crisis will resolve without the independence of Ambazonia. You have no project going on now. We have the conference of uh, Cardinal Tumi and Dr. Munzer. That's the only thing that's going forward. And all these people are trying to look for what's the best way to improve our lives as Cameroonians. That's the project that is going to be overwhelmingly supported at the conference that is uh, that is organized by this, uh, this gentleman. So what you see now is Ambazonia after October 1st, which was supposed to be their independence, and your lives have not changed. If they have changed, they have changed for the worse. They have no project ahead. No international community is going to respond to that. The international community now understands that Ambazonia is also taking the people captive in this region, killing the people, kidnapping the people, asking for ransom, stopping children from going to school, torturing the people that they have arrested. That is the only record that the international organizations now have of the project called Ambazonia, with its many, many, many leaders. These leaders have no feelings about the suffering that you people are suffering on the ground. My country people then, so when I don't hear from one of our fellow uh, Cameroonians, um, um, Southern Cameroonian, Anglophone Cameroonian, where they talk, I don't know if he hears an uh, intellectual, a person that way he know how the world works. Now, now the kind of people in this way, I don't detail when I say the, the intellectuals, them, the lawyers and the teachers, them, that they start this revolution. Now, people, the way they know, they understand how the world works. They understand the rule of law. And now why that way time they will start this revolution, they will do them peacefully, and now why that way will be gain a lot of momentum before the uneducated stock illiterates them, the carry chakra from gun them, the fall for bush. And when they get this uh, um uh, armed fighters then for so-called Amazonia inside our community, military go come. And when military come inside our community, what do you think that go happen? When they start shoot bullet, even that all bullet they go straight for for who's how they aim them. So we we they get straight bullets and military and then the two they target some more innocent civilians them. So maybe we not listen fine. We not listen to wait where this man they talk. As I don't tell you now, the tactics the way Ambazonia they use them, it be very destructive. And they do some of these things now for their own personal gain. They need to do them for the benefit of the Republic of Cameroon or the benefit of the people the way they live under this oppressive uh, government. They do them some of the times and for their own uh, uh, benefits them for the welfare of their pockets. Not enough for the welfare of the poor people the way they do on the ground. When I listen, when I listen them again, now wait that I don't always talk say the intellectuals them for our Anglophone region, they no support this madness of Amber Boys. There is a reason for it. Because we don't see, we don't foresee into the future. We don't look at the consequences. As as I don't talk before, now why that way we will not fit get international community for support way to way Amber Boys the Reduam. Because no person in their right mind ego ego encourage uh, Amber Boys them or encourage any uh, rebellion in another sovereign country. No organization and no foreign state if you support that one. And now why that way, no matter what the way these Ambazonian people them in the diaspora they talk, they cry every day, say genocide, genocide, genocide. But the international community, more than 90% of the international community, and look at what the way Ambazonians they complain about and it's still side with Paul Bia. It's still side with La Republic du Cameroon. It still talks say no, we don't see no genocide inside Cameroon. Yes, they don't see the die body them. They don't see the people the way the military for Cameroon they kill them. But the military for Cameroon, it get justification. And the justification and say Amber boys they carry guns. So it not just been let me not say the killings they need to go on. Let me not say the military not to target innocent civilians. Them. The problem and say you know if you prove them. Say na innocent civilians them because Amber boys they carry guns. When I listen, I wanna listen fine. This man where they talk na intellectual. And I don't know any other intellectual for Anglophone Cameroon way it go support what the way Amber Boys did do. What the way the Amber Boys did do it be retarded. It be against the the self interest of the people the way they claim say they protect them. They instead do more harm than good to the people them. They hurt we and it be upon we it be in our responsibility now for protect ourselves against the Amber Boys them. We not listen fine and we not take action. Because time don't reach. If we no stop Abba boys them, they will finish we all.